Good morning. Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. We're coming to you live today from Consensus 2018 in New York City. It is the world's largest blockchain conference. Helping me kick off coverage is Gabriel Giancolo. He's the co-founder and CEO of Kiwi. Thank you very much for joining us in NASDAQ Trade Talks today. Tell us about Kiwi. Thank you very much for having us. You got it. So uh, what we're actually doing is uh, we're doing loyalty on the blockchain, meaning we want to help brands to set up their own loyalty programs on the blockchain uh, through a point of play solution. By that, giving their customers really the freedom they deserve uh, by giving them the loyalty. What do you think the future of loyalty programs is with blockchain? Um, it is huge because um, the technology was really um, was born for, for the whole loyalty market because there are so many problems in the loyalty market like um, inefficiencies because people don't see the value in, in those points that they're getting and um, what we think is that we should build one big ecosystem on the blockchain. You don't have one central authority that is managing the whole transaction but um, you have one public chain that has uh, all the information and where all the brands can really um, have the value. Right. Well, a big topic of conversation is cryptocurrency price gains, taxes, corporate profits. Do you think it's time to pull the rug out from ICOs? No, no, not at all. I mean, we had a we had a super experience with uh, with the tax authorities in Switzerland. We we had um, two months of talks with them, uh, spoke a lot with them, explained them what we're doing, what this crypto market is doing, and uh, they were really helpful in, in setting up a tax ruling um, where we we really have the possibility to um, to refer the revenue. ICO income that we are having, so we don't have to pay um, the taxes on that part of the ICO. So I think if you have an active approach to the authorities, you can have a lot of uh, value. All right, and to wrap up, what do you need to do before investing in ICO? What should you look for? So for me, the most important thing is you have to have a good team that is passionate about the product they're building, and uh, they have to, to, to see wider than the ICO itself. It's not the last milestone, but that's the first milestone that you have to achieve before you have your journey. So um, it's really important that you have a great team behind a great product and uh, with a long term. All right. Well, thank you for joining us at Consensus. And thank you for joining me throughout the day. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Market Reporter at NASDAQ.